Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Jemaya Monet. And today I will be doing a questionnaire with my boo -bae. Okay, so today I will be doing asking your boyfriend or asking a man questions that females are afraid to ask. You ready, babe? Mm-hmm. Ready? <laughs> All right. So, is being a virgin a problem? Mm, mm, it depends on certain things. Like? Being a virgin, you can't hit certain positions. Like, you got some people that want to do porn star stuff, and you can't do it with a virgin. Mm. So, is it a yes or no for you? I'm in the middle with that one. Is it a yes or no for you? Yeah. How about that, yeah. So for you, being a virgin is a problem? Mm -hmm. So you couldn't date a female that was a virgin? But I could. I have before. But you just said it's a problem. That's why I said I'm in the middle. It can go. It goes both ways with me, so. Mm. I guess. Uh, what makes a girl dateable versus being a fling? What makes her dateable? You know, she's showing that she can be a woman instead of being a hoe, like throwing herself out to everybody and anybody, you know, having standards, morals about herself, hmm. keeping herself up, not looking, throw it away. Yeah. So appearance. Yep, appearance -wise. Is that everything? Yep. So are you grossed out when a girl tell you they're on their period? <clears throat> not at all. You better not be. <laughs> 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 oh, let me ask this one. So, why do guys like to eat? <laughs> <laughs> I can't answer that one for you because I really don't know why. I mean... Me personally, I don't feel like that would be nasty. I feel like that would be part of, you know, sex, period. Because, I mean, why do guys like eating vagina? Nobody classifies that as being nasty when you have more than just one thing coming out of a vagina. So. So you eat it? I never did, but I mean. So you would like to eat it? <laughs> not all I would. I mean, if you asked, I mean, shit, please your partner. Yeah, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Why are black men attracted to other ethnicities slash races? Oh, uh, because you know, black women alone, they hard to deal with in America. So black men ain't. I never said it was. What did the question ask? Go ahead. Continue. Mm. But once again, yes, black women in America are so hard to deal with. Why? Because it's always got to go. Everything has to go their way. Always. But is that not any woman? But is that like, is that my not telling the truth? But is that not any woman? It's not. It's not. So women in other ethnicities and races... Do not I'm not gonna lie, you have a few, but mostly black American women, that's everyone. It's not. Okay, put it this way. It's have the, you ever it's the ones you associate associate yourself around? But that's like ninety five percent of them that I see. <laughs> that's the ones you associate yourself around. Okay, I'll put it this way. You don't see you don't see like Asians walking around, oh, I run this, but, but, I run that. No, you see the man in charge instead of the woman. But you down in black women right now. And okay, but it's the truth. But you date a black female. But once again, she's, you know, we're working on that to where she understands I'm the man, you're the woman. We know each other's roles. So now role playing is an issue? Yeah, you not wearing the pants. I am. I'm the man. You're the woman. <laughs> but if you're not wearing 
the pants. Then that's when you step in. But once I get the pants back on, that's when you humble yourself and let me do my part as a man. Mm. Am I wrong? Yeah. So you tell me. So you tell me you a bit. You feel like you should wear the pants twenty four seven. Not twenty four seven, but when need be. Oh, that's See, what I'm getting at. When need be. But you, you're. That's what I'm saying. When need be. Okay. Let a man be a man all the time, unless you know he falls off his high horse and he needs his woman to help him get back up. But once he's back on his horse, step to the side. Let the man be a man. Okay. <laughs> so how do we know if a guy's feeling us? How would a female know if a guy is into me? Hmm. That's a good question. Nowadays, you really can't tell. But I know back then you could tell because the guy would stay around you. What are we talking about now? Now I don't. I can't tell you now. That's that'll be a hard question to answer for me because I don't know. Me personally, for what I've been doing, you know, call my girl every day, make sure she's all right. If I can't spend a little money, go let her do whatever she gotta do. I try to do that. But it's it's just as far as, you know, making sure everything is straight with her. Calling her, texting her, just simple stuff like that. Mm. Straight or curly hair. I like my my women curly hair. I don't like that straight stuff all the time. Matter of fact, I don't like it at all. That straight stuff it gets everywhere. Where the where the natural hair? Where's the natural hair? But what if I get my natural hair straight? Don't do that. I feel like that damages your hair. But I need a haircut. Okay, well, still cut it, but I mean, get it back curly. Don't leave it straight. I don't get what you're saying. I like curly hair. Point, point, period. Okay. So, after a breakup, do you guys still think about the girl a lot? Are you like, she constantly flowing through your mind? <laughs> I mean, with me, of course. Like, Especially if I know I done fucked up. Yeah. So. Forever running through my head. I be trying to find out ways, you know, how I can make it up. How I can change this, how I can change that. It's never a day really you're not going through my head. Bias. <laughs> Good. Why is it hard for guys to express their feelings? Because, like, with guys... We got to we gotta be dominant. It's not wrong to show a little emotion sometimes, but then you got some women that be like, once the man shows emotion, she be like, oh, he's soft, he weak, he this, he that. No, the man's just showing a little emotion. There's nothing wrong with a man showing a female a little emotion. So ladies, if he show a little emotion, don't call him weak, don't call him soft. Because when he start doing that hood rat stuff and going across your head, showing all the aggression all the time, then y'all feel like, oh, he, he this, he that. I'm scared to be around him. He don't show no type of emotions or nothing. I can't be around that. No. Oh, okay. Um, excuse me, where you throwing shade? Because I do not do that to you. I mean, if the shoe fit, weird. <laughs> but I do not do that to you. So it don't classify? It don't, you know, it's not nothing towards you then? Come on. You reading this one to me. Because you need to speak your mind forever, hold your peace. So why are Instagram models so attractive, but their girl can't? Oh, so okay. So why do guys find Instagram models so attractive, but then their girl can't post the same content as that model? There's an issue. Okay, it, it is an issue, and I'm gonna tell you why. Instagram models, a lot of them are hoes. They post the stuff they post to get attention. Why do you? That's why you see a lot of them in the position they are in today. And I wouldn't want my lady dressing like that and being the whole showing her body out to the whole world. I don't. Because that's supposed to be for me and me only. Wrong or right? That's your opinion. Well, guys like hoes. They like, uh, I can tell you one thing. Dudes like looking at hoes because the way they flash their bodies and stuff out. But as far as a dude being with a hoe, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. A dude really wants a woman he could actually settle down with, you know he could come home to, and there's no like, no issues or anything going on. With a hoe, you got to worry about where she at, what she doing, who she around. That's too much to be worried about. Mm. 
and that's what most of the Instagram models are today. So, are you entertaining somebody else? No, you got the password and everything to my phone. If you ever want to look through it, there it is. Are you entertaining someone else? You want to look through the phone? There it is. Are you entertaining someone else? No. Oh. <laughs> you took too long to say just. <laughs> You gonna read the question? <laughs> <laughs> Why do men cheat? Why? 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 First off, why? Can I take? Can I? Can I express? Can I like explain? <laughs> Go ahead. All men don't cheat. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm gonna just lay that out there on the table. But the ones that do, it could be for various reasons. It can be because. He might not be feeling his woman at that moment, or... He insecure. He could be insecure, or she can be the one insecure, and it pushes him to go out and cheat. It could be just... It's a lot of things, really. He might see something he like. He just might want to try for one night. You never know what it is. But it can be... Men, like, why do men cheat? That could run into a lot of different things. So how can a female go about asking a guy out? Just ask him. Don't be scared. You know what I mean? What's the worst that could happen other than him saying no or he has somebody already? Don't be afraid of rejection. Easier said than done. Because <laughs> guys are afraid of rejection. The reason I... Okay, well, with that being said, the reason why a lot of guys are scared of rejection is because... Some just don't know how to approach women. That's why a lot of them are scared of how she may react. They might say something dumb or anything in that matter. So in your case. What I did. You was afraid to ask me out. Cause like you you had this mean look on your face all the time. Of course. I'm gonna be I don't wanna mm -mm. So why do guys flip out when um we smack their butt? Cause that, that that just feels like, no, don't do that. I, then I feel like you, <laughs> a woman. Now you touch my butt. <laughs> I mean, some guys are bootylicious. No, I mean you gotta touch it. But you're bootylicious. Why do females get mad when men slap their butts? Cause it's intended for inappropriate reasons. Mm. And you ain't sticking nothing back there, so. Oh. So how do men move on so quickly after a breakup? They really don't. Some I'm not gonna lie, some do, but a lot of them don't. They 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 go deal with other females to take their mind off that one person. But once they're done dealing with that female, they trust me, they're thinking about that the female they left all day, every day. So why do guys want females that are taken? Mm. That's a good question. Why do guys want females that are taken? Maybe because it's hard. I don't know. Maybe because it's hard for them to they find one. But like, but my thing is, the woman that's taken. She that's not on. You changing? Changing? No, subject. but I'm saying you asked no, the question. You, but I, I'm, I'm asking the question. You gotta stay on topic. You can't be switching it. I am. I'm staying on topic. No, you were finna go about saying, well, the female that's taken shouldn't, yeah. No, I'm saying case. they shouldn't entertain the man that's trying to come and bother them. But that's not the question. The question is why do guys want females that are taken? I don't know. She might look good. She might smell good. Every woman has their own... But she's taken. If a female lets you know... Ah, haha. -ha, but not all females let men know that they're taken. Well, then how would a guy know if she's taken if she doesn't say? That's the whole point of the question. But does that say that? But that's the whole point. Guys just don't automatically know unless she's wearing a ring. The so ring doesn't. That's, that's why it's that's why I do guys but see, females that but are see, taken. A lot of so women wear, clearly she. But a lot of women wear rings. Know. A lot of women wear rings and still don't be taken. But at the end of the day, the question is why do guys want females that are taken? So the guy knows that then the female is taken. I don't know. I can't taken. answer that. I don't know. Mm, stay on topic. You be switching things up. I mean, it should go both ways. <laughs>
Why do guys stare at you all the time but don't approach you? A lot of men are intimidated by women. Because they pussy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> See, with that, yep, that's exactly why. No, it's not. Back on matter, of, and then on top of that, on with that, on that note, like a reason a lot of men feel intimidated by women because when women feel like they have that that what is, what's the word I'm looking for when they feel like they can make it on their own. Oh, they're independent, independent ladies. And see, that's what that's what's wrong with the women nowadays. Because they're stop, independent. No, stop thinking. Oh, I don't need a man for this. I don't need a man for that. At the end of the day, you still need a man, regardless. Don't feel like just because you're making this amount of money, you got this job, you ride this vehicle, you don't need no man. No, at the end of the day. There's a lot of ladies out here who want to be now. They don't want a man. And that's the problem. Ooh, the babies will go on YouTube. They'll watch what you say. That's, that's still the problem. Okay. Like, that's that's crazy. You you would rather go for a female that wants to. And that's another thing. You don't want a man, but you will go for another female. While the other female wants to be just like a man. So why not go get you a man? Not all females dress like a man, though. But they have that man mentality. But not all females. They don't have to dress like them. They have the mindset you, of a man. But you said dress. Okay, well, either or. They dress like them or they want to be like They still want to be like them. Either way, go. if it's just the way they dress, the way they act, the way they carry themselves, they still want to be like a man. Okay, well, but what, are the, what about those pretty females, those dressy, dressy females that still dress like a I can't, female, I can't act speak like a female, they just want. I can't speak on those. Well, you're speaking. I'm in speaking general. on the ones that want to be like a man. Well, I, I can't tell. You say a lot of things that has a wide variety of other things. Oh, do guys look at girls' stomachs? Mm-hmm. Some do. Yes. It's sad. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Um, what does vagina taste like? <laughs> vagina can taste like a lot of things. If you really want to know, all I can tell you is put your finger, like, swipe it and you tell me, like, you taste it for yourself. That's not the question. The question is, what does... And I said, like? I can't explain. I don't, I can't. What, okay, what does it's supposed to taste like? Vagina is supposed to taste like vagina. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's not supposed to have a scent. I mean, I mean, it's supposed to taste good. I guess I don't, I don't. That's a hard question to answer. It, it tastes like vagina. <laughs> it's supposed to taste like a fruit, a berry. It ain't supposed to. I mean, I mean, if that's what you eat a lot, some of that should start, you know, coming out. Yeah, you will taste that if that's what you eat. But what is it supposed to taste like? Like, how do you know it's good? Like. It's straight. You ain't got nothing to worry about. How do you know that? A vagina with no taste is straight. A vagina that smells good is straight. But when it starts smelling... But you, you're you talking about smelling. We're talking about taste. That's what I'm saying. Okay, it all so, runs together. No, it doesn't. That sm if it smells like fish, it's going to taste like fish. Okay. What body count is too high? For males or women? For males or females? In general. What, what do you think? It's your opinion. It's, it's opinion-based. This is all about your opinion. So, what body count is too high? If you want to say what male body count, you want to say what female body count. If you want to say both body count is too high, what body count is too high? Hmm. That's a really good question. Yeah, because you got to think personally. So. Hmm. Me personally, I can say three to four. It's too high. Mm -hmm. It's too high. Mm -hmm. It's too high. For who? <laughs> for for who? because for women. Oh, okay. Because once you get passed around, not saying passed around, like even if I'm jumping around, I, I can, okay, I can see if it's different if you're in a relationship, or relationship. But I still feel like that's bad because. If you keep ending up in all these different relationships and y'all having sex, but y'all not going further than that, then you just like another hoe. But for dudes, oh my gosh, oh, for us fellas. <laughs> I know us fellas, we got our issue with body counts, so. 
Mm. <laughs> really, with us fellas, five is supposed to really five is still too many. Cause you got to think, us fellas, we doing stuff like this. This is crazy, and then females thinking it's okay, then they just jumping from body to body. Three to five is too many for both. How about that? Okay, what is your body count? Mm. How far back we going? What is your body count? I don't know, cause I I lost track, then I like I stopped. I ended my. What count. is? I ended my body count, so I don't that's, know. That's crazy. What is your body count? One. Why again? You sitting next to me. The fuck is <laughs> one. <laughs> yo, she trying to get me caught up, and I'm not even doing that. You're like, <laughs> mm. have you ever been tested? Oh yeah, I showed you that. I wasn't playing. I know that, but like, oh yeah, of course. I, and I recommend everybody get tested. Like, it ain't nothing wrong with being tested. Know what you got. Don't keep spreading and stuff. I like. For real. All right. Do you prefer thick or slim women? Think wisely. <laughs> I mean, I like them both. It really don't. It depends. It don't bother me. It it does. I'm not gonna lie. It does. You can't be a certain size. Once you hit a certain size, we gotta go work out or something. Like, I'm not gonna even let you get to a certain size. So we gotta set goals. So. Do you prefer thick or slim? Thick. Slim oh. thick. Oh. Best of both worlds. Okay, so why is commitment slash marriage so scary? It's not scary at all. It is. It's not. It is. Come on, okay, when you think about marriage, I think, well, when I think about marriage, I think of it as, as dating. It's the same thing. The only difference is, to me, y'all are bound as one now. Legally. Yeah, legally. That's how I feel. But it's just, but really the only difference is now y'all moving in together, y'all living together on a daily basis now. And that really it ain't it's nothing really too much different. But it is because like you're you're about to spend your whole life, the rest of your life, with that person, right? How do you really know that person is the one? Like they could show you they're the one for like years. Then go out and do you dirty. I'm gonna tell them to tell How you. do you know that you really want to spend the rest of your life with that one person? I feel like you're supposed to know that when you get with this person. See, but what if what if you thought you knew, right? Then only time can and tell. Then, like you can't. Boom, bombshell. Only, only time can over. only time can tell. Because once again, you really don't know a person until you move in with that person. But that's why commitment slash marriage is so scary because you really don't know. But once again, just because you got just just because you got a, a history with a person, that don't mean you got a future with a person. And there it is. Do you like dirty talk, like bedroom? Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna even what. Yeah, you gotta set the mood. Like we can't be in there quiet all night long. Like no, talk to me. Say something. Whisper something in my ear. Okay. Then you won't see this part. I'm editing that out. <laughs> <laughs> Do guys masturbate more than girls? No. Or vice versa? Like, do you think girls masturbate? Yeah, I think girls do it more. Because, like, when, especially when girls had these little, the little girls' night slum parties and stuff like that, girls, girl, girls tend to be a lot more freakier than guys. Girls do a lot more. Okay, wait, hold on, because you said at some, at some parties, we, we ain't masturbating at some parties. So, some females, not all. When girls get together in groups of girls. Yeah, we'll talk about stuff, but we, we ain't masturbating next to each other. With, once again, people. not all girls. You know, you shouldn't even say stuff like that. Cause, but it's true. No, it's not. But it is. No, it's not. Once again, it might be the people I know. Yeah. You talking about Mike? Heck yeah. It's the people but see, you know. But now you're classifying yourself as everybody else. 
I'm not classifying, but I know a lot. I've been to slumber parties. Okay, but once again, we're up in age now. A lot of women are and, doing that. And I've been to slumber parties. And we've all slept in the same dang room. Sometimes in the same dang bed. Once again. Ain't nobody masturbating. Not all women do that. But you saying they do it at slumber parties. Like when you say that, that's disgusting. Yeah, it's like when a lot of women... Once again, when a lot of women get together and they, you know, have the little girls night out and all that stuff, yes, a lot of them do do that. What females do you be knowing? Like, what females do you be hanging around and be talking about stuff like that? Is that one of the questions? No, but that's disgusting. Like, that's What's the question? That's what the question asks. Right? No, you... Okay. That's nasty. So, um, is... Is the way a person spits game attracts you more to them? Yeah. Is wearing makeup an issue? And do do you like girls who wear makeup? Think wisely. No, I don't like girls that wear makeup. But makeup makes you makeup can make your make you look like. You know some of your exes. Once again, could be let haters. me finish. Let me finish. I'm just, you just saying. Let no. me finish. Okay. I don't like girls that wear makeup, but once again, makeup can make a person look, you know, out of this world, like mind blowing. But I hate makeup. Yes, I've dated some girls that have makeup. I still hated it. But once again, it makes you look out of this world, mind blowing. I think you. You need to get your emotions in check because I don't think your mind is what is like connected to your words. Because you, like, I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. Like, you mean makeup, like something totally different. Because how does makeup <laughs> makeup can make you look okay? You can grab an ugly person, boom, person ugly as hell. You throw makeup on them, this person can be the baddest out there. Take the makeup off. But it's like, oh, uh, who are you again? But you said you hate makeup, like, yeah, makeup is really to me, makeup is messy. And then especially if it's not applied right, it looks like you just have a bunch of stuff just thrown on your face and just caked on. It's not blended right. Nothing is nothing is perfect on your face. It's just there but to be you, there. But do you realize that I wear makeup? I wear lip gloss. See, I wear, I wear so lip why you, See, when you say makeup. That's, that's makeup. That's literally that, makeup. That little stuff like that doesn't bother me. I mean, like, but you said you I mean, like makeup. all the little powdered stuff and everything like that. Okay, you hate Eyeshadows okay, and all so that different you, crazy stuff. What you should have said is that you hate some stuff about makeup, but you don't hate makeup because you do like when my lip gloss is popping. Well, next time you, somebody you needs do. to clarify a little better in the question. That's posting. makeup. That's literally makeup. Just say you don't know what makeup is, but you can't say you hate makeup. That's where you messed up at. That's where you messed up at. I'm just saying, you don't want to say these things. Why? Do you secretly check females out? I do. It's, it's oh, so you looking at other hoes? <laughs> Is that what you do now? Nah, uh, I do. I'm not gonna lie. You don't know. I mean, you're not around when I do it because I feel like that's disrespectful if I do it while you're next to me. So, yeah, I do. I'm not going to be ashamed of it. And vice versa. I'm sure you check out guys. So. Because who said that? I ain't got to. It's, it's just proven. It's, like, it's, it's there. Like, so you telling me you never checked out another guy? I mean, when you say check out. No, nah, exactly. <laughs> see? Yeah. So, I'm not. That's nothing to be. I'm not upset about that. I know it happens. So. Okay. So, how often do you watch porn? <laughs> I'm listening. I watch a little too much. I actually try to cut back on it because um, mean, excuse me. I watch a lot. That's how I learn all my moves and stuff to try to what, do. It. What moves? That's that's your issue. You're not supposed to bring porn into the bedroom because your girl is not a porn star. Yeah, I want to say that's the issue. But once again, I that's don't an like. Issue? It's an issue for me because I know you're not on that level and I'm trying to make you do things that you can't do so that's why I said that's an issue for me so this is the end of that part hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe and another video will be coming soon so